Amen. Amen. We'll have the we'll have the Bible exchange after the service. Amen. Amen. We'll exchange the New King James for the garbage can. And uh, Amen. We'll give you the right Bible. Amen. 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 Boy, that'll make some mad. Amen. It's all right. Amen. Amen. John 21. This morning is where I have you to go. I ask you to stand when you get turned there out of reverence to God's Word. I studied this this week. God gave me about three or five different thoughts in this scripture. Amen. I might preach one or two. I might preach all five of them. Amen. I ain't sure yet, but we're going to find out this morning. Amen. John 21, verse number one. It said, After these things, Jesus shewed himself again to the disciples at the Sea of Tiberias, and on this wise shewed he himself. And there were together Simon Peter and Thomas called Didymus and Nathaniel of Cana and Galilee and the sons of Zebedee and two other of his disciples. And verse 3 said, Simon Peter saith unto them, I go a fishing. And they say unto him, We also go with thee. They went forth and entered into a ship immediately. And that night they caught nothing. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for the opportunity to stand this morning. We thank you for your word and we thank you for... This church, dear Lord, we pray that you just help us this morning to preach your word, just how you'd have us to preach it, dear Lord. Help your people this morning, I pray in Jesus' name, and amen. amen. You can be seated, amen, amen. Here in uh, John 21, uh, uh, what's going on here, amen, here in a few weeks we're going to uh, uh, celebrate Easter, amen. This is after Easter right here, amen, amen. There's always going to be an after Easter, amen. Right now we're in the after of Easter, amen. Amen. Easter is a, a, a celebration time of the resurrection of Christ. Amen. And a, a lot of folks, amen, uh, they'll close the story right there. But there was a lot more he did after he resurrected. Amen. amen. We know that. Amen. And, 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 and here we find in John 21, we find that he's already come and, and showed himself to his disciples once. Amen. And, and we find that here he comes again. Amen. And he's about to show himself to them again. Amen. And and. And, and verse number 3, and this, it tells us who all are together there in verse number 2, but verse number 3, Simon Peter, he becomes the leader of the group. Amen? Amen? Not really, uh, nobody elected him the leader of the group. He just decided what they was going to do. Amen? Amen? He said, I go a fishing. Amen? He said, uh, basically, Simon Peter, amen, he said, I'm going to do what I know to do. Amen? Simon Peter was a fisherman. Amen? Amen. He said, I'm going to go fishing. Amen. I'm going to do what I know to do. Amen. I'm going to go fishing. Amen. Amen. We don't read in the Bible where uh, Simon Peter and, and Christ have any interaction up, uh, up until this chapter. Amen. After, after, the, after the, uh, the crucifixion and the resurrection. Amen. We don't read that. The last we read really of what Simon Peter had done, he denied Christ. Amen. Amen. He denied Christ. Amen. And so uh, Christ has already come and shoot himself to his disciples. And then we find it. I don't know how long, how many days, if it was even a day after Simon Peter said, I'm going fishing. I'm going back to doing what I know to do. I'm going to go fishing. Amen. Amen. And he uh, wasn't the leader of the group, but they made him the leader of the group. Amen. A lot of times the leader of the group ain't elected. Amen. It's the person that makes a decision. <laughs> Amen. Amen. We need some men. Amen. That'll make a decision these days. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Let me tell you, friend. Amen. But it said, they said, they say unto him, we also go with thee. Amen. They made him the leader. Amen. They said, you're going to go or we're going to go with you. Amen. Amen. Because let me tell you, friend, Simon, Peter, amen, he knew what he was doing on the waters, amen, as a fisherman. Amen. He was a, he was a good fisherman, amen. Amen. And it said, they said, we also go with thee. And it said, they went forth and entered to a ship immediately. And then the end of the verse changes things. It says, in that night, they caught nothing. All primed and ready here. We're in the ship with Simon Peter, the fisherman. The one that knows what he's doing. He said, we're going fishing. Amen. He said, we're going fishing. Man, I'm, I'm going with him. Amen. It's going to work out with him. Amen. Well, let me tell you this morning. It's kind of like this morning. Amen. If we could just use a, 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 an earthly example. Amen. That would be if, if, if right here this morning uh, you had a basketball team and me and LeBron James was standing here and you had to pick one of us for your team. <laughs> Tony Lyon said he'd pick me. Amen. Amen. You, you, you're going to pick the one that's going to help you win. Amen. 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 Let me, friend, they, they said, Peter's going fishing, so we're going to go fishing with him. We're getting in the boat with him. 
Amen. But here it says that night they caught nothing. Nothing. That word nothing is a subjective word. Do you know that? Amen. Say, preacher, what's that mean? It means that sometimes it can be a good thing and sometimes it can be a bad thing. Amen. Amen. It's a good thing if you uh, 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 ha have much and owe nothing. That's a good thing. Amen. To owe nothing. Amen. It, it's a bad thing when you owe a lot and have nothing. Amen. Amen. You see how the tide can turn. Amen. That nothing can turn. Amen. Amen. So let me tell you, friend, this morning, amen, uh, this was a situation where it was a bad nothing. Amen. That night they caught nothing. Amen. Amen. And I, I want you to think about this. Amen. Here's Peter. Amen. And he goes out and he does something that he knows. Amen. He does something, but it yields him nothing. Amen. amen. He does something, amen, that he knows to do. And it yields him nothing. Amen. I mean, I, I'd say every other time he's went out, he's got something. Amen. Amen. But here this night, he gets nothing. Amen. He gets nothing. Amen. Amen. Friend, let me tell you, amen. Let me tell you this, friend. Amen. This is the Christian life right here in, 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 the, in the Bible right here. Amen. Amen. We'll, we'll sometimes, amen, we, we'll do what we know works. Amen. What we know to do. But then it yields nothing. Amen. It yields nothing. Amen. Amen. I don't know if you've ever been like that. This message might just be for me, but I got to thinking there's been some times in my life where I've said, God, I've got nothing. I've done what you told me to do. I've done what I know to do. But it seems like it's yielded me nothing. It's yielded me nothing. Amen. Amen. And I think about Peter here. Amen. Peter's went through a rough couple days. Amen. He went in there. He denied Christ. Amen. Three times. He got to the point of cussing them out. Amen. And the Bible said the third time he began to curse at them. Amen. Amen. Friend, Peter's went through a rough couple of days after he just made that commitment to God saying, God, I'm never going to deny you. I'll be with you all the way. Amen. And then there he comes in there and he denies him. Amen. And, and here Peter says, and, and, and there's Christ risen. Amen. He He's, he's seen him. said he was present with his disciples. He's seen him. And Peter says, I'm going fishing. I'm going to do what I know to do. And then here comes Peter and he fails. He fails at what he's supposed to do. Amen. Amen. At what he's supposed to be good at. <coughs> Amen. He fails. Amen. I, I think Peter probably right now probably feels like the lowest of the low, don't you? Think about that. Amen. Amen. Think about that. He feels like the lowest of the low. He is simply just, he might just look in the mirror and say, I'm nothing but a failure. Boy, I tell you what, amen. Amen. If you ain't never been there, you give it some time, you'll get there. Amen. You'll get there feeling like nothing but a failure. Amen. This morning. Amen. Amen. I want to tell you this morning. You might be there this morning. If you're not there this morning, I want you to do two things. I want you to pray for those that are there and take notes for when you get there. Amen. Amen. Because you'll get there. Amen. Amen. Notice this. They caught nothing. I want to look at this this morning on what, what happens uh, when, you, when you've got nothing. Amen. Amen. If I could title this, I would title this nothing. Amen. So you go to work tomorrow and they say, what did your preacher preach on yesterday? They say nothing. <laughs> Amen. 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 You ought to say nothing. Look up the message on the Facebook. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Let me tell you, friend. Amen. When you've got Nothing. Amen. Notice this. Look at verse 4. It said, But when the morning, but when the morning was now come. Amen. They had fished all night. They had tried all night their way to get something. Amen. They had tried all night to their best of their ability to get something and they got nothing. But it said, When the morning was now come, Jesus stood on the shore. Amen. Let me tell you this this morning. Amen. When you're a failure and you failed at it, amen, and you've got nothing, Jesus is still lingering by. Amen. Jesus ain't left you yet, friend. Amen. He ain't going to leave you. Amen. He said, I'll never leave you nor forsake you. Amen. Amen. Friend, when you, when you failed at it, when you've got nothing, Jesus is still there. Amen. Amen. Jesus is still lingering by. You know, well, think about them other disciples. They got in the boat with Peter. He said, I go a fishing. Amen. They had a lot of faith in him that he was going to catch some fish. Amen. Because this is Peter. Amen. He knows what he's doing. Amen. And maybe at this point they were thinking, why did we get in this boat with Peter? 
Amen. Amen. Why did we do this? Amen. Why did we do this? And maybe Peter, maybe they're starting to doubt him. Amen. But there's Jesus just standing off in the distance watching them. Just watching over them. Amen. You know that's how Christ does you and I this morning. Amen. You get down in the dumps. You get ready to quit. Amen. You read where you got nothing. Amen. Say it ain't working no more. But Jesus is just standing off in the distance watching you. Watching you. Amen. Keeping a watch over you. Amen. Let me tell you this morning, there's never a time when God's not watching you. Amen. Amen. Let me tell you this. Amen. Amen. When you're good, amen, He's still watching you. Amen. When you're bad, He's still watching you. Amen. When it's going good, He's still watching you. When it's going bad, He's still watching you. Amen. Amen. I was thinking of this. As somebody said this the other day. Nobody's been more hurt by the church than Jesus Himself, but He still shows up every Amen. service. Amen. Amen. He still shows up. Amen. Nobody's been more, more beaten. Nobody's been more betrayed by the church than Jesus Christ, but He still makes it a point to be here. Amen. Why wow, that ought to make you feel sick this morning for not treating church as a priority. Amen. Amen. Friend, I'm glad God made me a priority. Amen. I'm glad he made me a priority on the cross amen when he died for my sin amen and we can't make his house a priority Wow, there ought to be something wrong with that. Amen. Amen. Let me tell you, friend, here, Peter, he's down at low. Amen. He's caught nothing. He's failed. Amen. But Jesus is still lingering by. Amen. Let me tell you this this morning. Amen. It's going to help you. I don't mean this to depress you. I mean this to help you. But there's going to be times when everybody leaves you. Amen. I believe that. I believe that. I've sit and I, 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 I've sit before and just cried and talked to God and said, God, I don't feel like there's anybody I can talk to about this. God, I don't feel like there's anybody. And you know what he said to me? Yeah, there is. You're talking to him. Hey man, you're talking to him. Hey man, friend, let me tell you, there's gonna be times when everybody's gonna quit and give up on you. Hey man, hey man, there's gonna be times. Hey man, when those mossy back Christians, hey man, better than everybody else, are gonna quit and give up on you. Amen. But God ain't. Amen. God's still lingering around. Amen. God ain't left the scene yet. Amen. God still sees something in you that He can use. Amen. Here's Peter. Amen. This is all leading up to him telling Peter something very important at the end of this chapter. Amen. But let me tell you, friend. Here's the Peter, the traitor. Amen. The one that, 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 that denied him three times, cussed about him. Amen. Amen. And he just goes on a fish and says, I'm going to do what I know to do. Amen. But here I am. Amen. And Christ is still watching him. Said he stood on the shore. Says, but the disciples knew not that it was Jesus. These were the disciples. Think about this. this the, the, these were the disciples that had been with him in the flesh, amen, that had seen him, amen, in the flesh, amen. They had, they had walked beside him, amen, and it said that, that, that they knew not that it was him. And the disciples knew not that it was Jesus. Amen, friend, let me tell you, amen. Amen, I believe that's you and I. Amen, God will show up in our lives and we won't know it's Him. Amen. amen, we won't know it's Him. Amen, we'll be so depressed and down and out we won't realize that it's Him. Amen, but let me tell you, this morning, friend, Jesus is still lingering around for you. Amen, amen. Jesus ain't left this place. No, friend, Jesus ain't left this place. Amen, He's still lingering. Let me tell you this, look at verse 5. It said, Then Jesus saith unto them, Children. Amen. Stop right there. Then Jesus saith unto them, Children. I'm glad when I've got nothing. When I've done nothing. Amen. And when, and when I've, I've completely failed and made a mess of it, He still knows who I am. Amen. He still knows me. He called children. Friend, that, that was intimate that he called them children. You know what he did? He called them. He said, hey, I know who you are. He said, hey, there's no mistake. I, I know you, friend. Amen. Friend, it's one thing, amen, amen, to know all about Christ, but it's one thing, amen, for Christ to know you. Amen. To know who you are this morning. Amen. Friend, let me tell you, amen, if you're lost, Christ, amen, amen, He can't call you children. Amen. Amen. He can't call you child because you're not a child of God if you're lost. Amen. You're lost and on your way to hell. Amen. But let me tell you this, friend, I'm glad I serve a God that does not forget. Amen. That does not forget. 
did, amen, about that time, amen, they sang that song, I never shall forget the day. I'm glad God never shall forget that day either, amen, amen. Friend, let me tell you, he said, children, amen, let me tell you, even when you've messed it all up, God still knows who you are. God still knows who you are. I got to thinking about this, preached a message one time over here, it's probably been five or six months now, on what is man. And we talked about all the, all the different people in the Bible that had messed it up. That had just ruined it. Amen. That had just ruined it all. Amen. And then we saw what God thought about them. Amen. I mean, this is Peter right here. Amen. This is the one that, 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 that he, he denied Christ. I mean, just blatantly said, I don't know the guy. Amen. And, and, and the folks there, they said, you were, friend, uh, uh, you were with him. He said, no, I wasn't. Amen. He lied. Amen. He denied. Amen. Amen. He cussed at him. Amen. And here's Peter. Amen. And, and, and friend, let me tell you this. Amen. Peter in the, in the Independent Baptist Church in 2019 would be called a liar. Amen. Let's just, let's just get right down to it. It's going to be good. This is a Wednesday night thought that slept in the Sunday morning. Amen. It'll be all right. Amen. Amen. But he'd be called a liar. He'd be called, we can't trust him. He'd be called good for nothing. He's done screwed it up. Bless God, we can't let him get up there and preach. Amen. Amen. Think about that over in Acts. Amen. Where he got up there and preached and 3,000 got saved. While the Baptist church said, he's done ruined it all. I've, I know about him. I know about him. He, we, we can't let him do anything. We can't let him get up there and sing. We can't let him. Well, I wish, I tell you what, I've been here all this time and here Peter comes back. Amen. And everybody loves Peter. Amen. Amen. I'm sick and tired of Peter, Peter, Peter. Oh my gosh. Amen. Nobody noticed me. <laughs> Amen. 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 But friend, and, 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 and Peter, you know what the thing is about Peter? He's supposed to be good at that fishing. And there he did caught nothing. We done seen what Peter is. Why do we want him around? Why do we want that traitor? Why do we want that failure here? But Jesus didn't say it unto them, failures, traitors, liars, quitters. No. He said children. He said, children, I, I, I've learned this a lot lately. Let me tell you this. Let me tell you this. I, I, I've learned this. It's important for you to pay attention about your reputation and what others think about you. But at the end of the day, what you say about me has no bearing. What you say about me has no bearing. What you say about me has no bearing. Amen. At the end of the day, you can run my th name through the mud. Amen. At the end of the day, you can say what you want to say. And let me tell you this. I've been preaching for, what, four years now? Maybe more. How long have I been preaching? Four years. Four years. Amen. Amen. I've been preaching. Amen. Amen. And I've learned. Amen. You can do all the right things and they're still going to run your name through the mud. Amen. You can do all the right things. You can, you can go to every church service. Amen. And nobody, and those mossy back Christians are still not going to care. Amen. They're going to say they're still the same old sinner they always was, amen, amen, and let me tell you, friend, that altar's open for those mossy back Christians, amen, to get right and get, get right with God on that, amen, but let me tell you, friend, you can do everything, preach every message from Genesis to Revelation, and there's still going to be some that's going to run your name through the mud. Amen. But God, amen, amen, over there, but God, amen, it said, and then Jesus saith unto them, children. Amen. Jesus looked out and said, I know who that is. Hey, I've been paying attention. He's still mine. He's still mine. He might have messed it up a little bit. He might have screwed it up a little bit. But praise God, he's still mine. Amen. Amen. He's still mine. I still love him. He's still mine. Amen. Friend, let me tell you this morning, amen. When, you, when, you, when, you really, when you've really failed and you've got nothing, God still knows who you are. Said so then Jesus saith unto them, Children, have you any meat? He didn't say, are you having a good time? Notice this. He didn't say, are you having a good time? He didn't say, he didn't say have you called anything? He didn't ask them that. Right. Amen. He, he didn't say, is the water nice today? I mean, he didn't say anything. He said, have you any meat? Amen. 
Amen. Say, preacher, what was that? What's that mean? Amen. That means even when you've got when you've got nothing, when you've failed, when when you've just ruined it all. Amen. Jesus still cares about you. Amen. He still cares about you. Amen. He still cares about you. Amen. He's still concerned with you. Amen. Amen. He was worried. Amen. I don't think it was worrisome. I think he was he was concerned. Amen. He wanted to make sure they had meat. Amen. He said, "Have you any meat? Amen. Have you what you need? Amen. Not are you entertained." Boy, I tell you what, my my, we've got we've gotten backwards on that, amen. We've got to make sure everybody's entertained. We've got to make sure everybody's energized, amen. We've got to make sure everybody's oh, we're just we're we're, we're happy to be here and we just and just uh, happy as a lark and, and strutting around, amen. We got to make sure, amen, that, that we've just got it all, amen. That that we've got every program that there is, amen. That we're pertaining to this crowd and pertaining to this crowd, and we can't offend anybody. Amen. Jesus said, "Have you any meat?" Boy, I tell you what, that's a message in itself right there. Amen. That's one of the that's one of them other five messages I was gonna preach. Amen. Amen. Have you any meat? Amen. Have you anything that's gonna profit you? Amen. Let me tell you, the smoke in the mirrors ain't gonna profit you. Amen. Amen. The circus animals running around the avenue ain't gonna profit you. Amen. Amen. Ain't going to profit you none. Amen. Let me tell you this. Amen. Amen. The contemporary Christian music. Amen. That's afraid to mention God's name. It ain't going to profit you none. Amen. It ain't going to profit you a bit. Amen. Amen. Making uh, confessions to Christ. Amen. Amen. But never, never actually having a profession. Amen. Amen. Never actually having that possession. Amen. Rather. Amen. Amen. It ain't going to profit you none. Let me tell you this. You can get baptized 35 times and come up a wet sinner 35 times. Amen. 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 Friend, let me tell you. Friend, let me tell you this. Amen. Jesus said, have you any meat? Amen. Have you anything that's going to profit you? Amen. That's going to help you? That's going to, it's, it's going to help you go a little further? Not that's going to make you feel good, but that's going to strengthen you. It's going to, it's going to, friend, let me tell you this morning, Jesus still cares about you. Amen. Amen. He cares about you and he wants you to have the right things. Amen. Amen. Over there, it talks about uh, the babies. Amen. Being fed with milk and honey. Amen. But at some point, we got to get on the meat. Amen. Amen. We got to get serious about this thing. Amen. Quit being babies in Christ. Amen. And get serious about this. Amen. Let me tell you, friend. Amen. Amen. You can grow up. Amen. And be a Christian. Amen. I believe that. Amen. The Bible said when I was a boy, I thought as a boy, amen, when I came a man, I put away childish things, amen. Amen, they put away the childish things. Amen, friend, let me tell you at some point, my well, preacher, that church is just so boring. We ain't got this and we ain't got that, amen. Friend, we put away the childish things and got down to the manly things, amen. The godly things this morning, amen. Got serious with God, amen. Friend, he said, have you any meat? Not are you entertained. Not are you satisfied. He said, have you any meat? Amen. Amen. They answered him, no. They answered him, no. And he said unto them, cast the net on the right side of the ship, and you shall find. Amen. I, I was sitting here thinking of this. I was thinking of this. This, this is this, uh, a side note here. I, I was thinking as I was studying this, I thought, you know, this is Peter that was out there. This is a, a good fisherman. I guarantee he casted it on that side at some point. At some point, I'm sure he had casted the net on the right side of the ship. Amen. Say, preacher, what are you trying to say? I'm trying to say, God, let me, let me tell you this. Until God said it, it wasn't going to happen. Amen. Get that this morning. Until God says it, it ain't going to happen. Amen. Amen. Until God says it, it ain't going to happen. Let me tell you this. I, 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 I've learned this. Amen. Amen. Not just in pastoring, but being in church. Amen. God's people can't start revival. Amen. Do you know that? God's people can't start revival. There's all kinds of revivals going on. Amen. Amen. I'm planning to hit every one of them this month. I'll just be honest with you. Amen. I'm planning to go to all of them. Amen. Amen. Because I, I, need, I need revival. Amen. Amen. But God's people can't start revival. Amen. Amen. God's, let me tell you this, uh, the preacher can't preach. Amen. The, the singers can't sing. Amen. Amen. Friend, let me tell you, I'm sure that this is Peter. He knew what he was doing. I'm sure at some point he cast the net on the right side. 
Amen. But, but here comes Jesus. He said, cast the net on the right side of the ship and ye shall find. There's a little clause at the end of that, and you shall find. Amen. Say, preacher, what are you trying to say? I'm trying to say this. Amen. When you've got nothing, when you've ruined it all, when you're a big failure, amen, on everything, amen, notice this, God still has the solution. Amen. amen. God still knows the answer. Amen. God still knows the answer. Not the preacher, not the deacon, not the Sunday school teacher. God still knows the answer. Amen. Amen. Friend, let me tell you, amen. Let me tell you this this morning, amen. I, I, was, I was thinking of preaching a, a few weeks ago. I'm, I'm working on it. I'll get over there one of these days over there in, uh, in Joshua uh, chapter number 24 where he says, As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Amen. You know why Joshua said that? Amen. Because he learned that God had never failed him. Amen. amen. He learned that God had never failed him. That was at the end of his book over there. Amen. 24 chapters. He learned that the only time he failed was when he looked after man. And not looked after God. Amen. Amen. Let me tell you, friend. Amen. Let me tell you this morning. Amen. I can say without a shadow of a doubt, God has never been wrong. Amen. God has never been wrong. Amen. Amen. You know who's been wrong? Look around. We all have. Amen. But God never has. Amen. God's never been wrong. Amen. God knows exactly what He's doing. Amen. Let me tell you this, friend. When, when, you, when you failed at it all, God still knows how to fix it. Amen. God still knows. Amen. Amen. And it might be something that you know. Amen. But until God says it, amen, then that's when it'll work. Amen. That's when it'll work. Let me tell you this. Let me tell you this. i got to go. Look down here in verse number 8. In verse number eight. Well, we, we find Peter here in, in verse 7. Amen. We, we won't want to skip over that. Amen. Well, well, verse 6 said, They cast therefore, now they were not able to drop for the multitude of fishes. Amen. Notice, God knows the solution. Amen. Amen. They did what God said, and it worked. Right. Still works today. Amen. Verse 7 said, Therefore that disciple whom Jesus loved saith unto Peter is the Lord. Now when Simon Peter heard that it was the Lord, he girded his fishers coat unto him, for he was naked and didn't cast himself into the sea. Peter said, I'm getting out of here. Amen, amen, amen. But it said, And the other disciples came in a little ship, for they were not far from land, but as it were 200 cubits. It said, Dragging the net with fishes. Now verse number 9 is where I want you to get this. It's my last point. Verse 9. It said, As soon as they were come to land, Boy, this is good stuff. They saw a fire of coals there, and fish laid their own in bread. Amen. Amen. Hey, amen. You see that? You see that right there? Let me tell you this. When you've screwed it up, when you've failed, when you've, done, when, when you've got nothing left and you, you just can't, you can't find the remedy, you can't find what it is, let me tell you this. God has already fixed it. Amen. God has already fixed it. Amen. Here they come. I want you to picture this. They're dragging the fish. They said they were dragging the nets. Amen. They're dragging the fish. Oh, golly. This is, here we are. We've been out here all night. We finally got something. My gosh, this is a struggle. We're just dragging this on here. And then they walk up and they see the fish already laying there. They see that God already had it. Amen. God had already fixed it. Amen. God, let me tell you this this morning, friend. Whatever you're praying about, God's already worked it out. Amen. Whatever you're, you're, you're struggling with this morning, God's already fixed it. Amen. God's already figured it out for you. Amen. Let me tell you this. Amen. It said they, as soon as they were come to land, as soon as they were come to land, they saw a fire of coals there and fish laid there on and bread. Amen. Amen. Friend, let me tell you this this morning. Amen. Amen. You might have been praying about something for years. You keep on praying about it. Because God's already worked it out. Amen. God's already, let me tell you, friend. Amen. My favorite verse of Scripture. I've quoted all the time. Hebrews chapter 12, verse number 2. Looking unto Jesus. The author, but I mean, not just the author, and finisher of our faith. Amen. The, the, the finisher. I don't know about you. You might not be like me. I sit around and wonder, how's this going to play out? How's this going to work? What's going to happen here? What's going to happen ten years down the road? What's going to happen five years down the road? What's going to happen here? Friend, let me tell you, God's already there. God's already there. 
God's already, we, we sit and worry about, about things, about stupid things, amen, about stupid things, amen. We'll sit and worry about all kinds of things. Well, how am I going to do this? How am I going to do that? I, let me tell you this morning, I already told you once, God has never failed me. God has never failed, amen. When I've needed Him, He's always been there, amen. When, when I've needed an answer, He's always provided an answer, amen. God has not failed this morning, amen, and God never will. Look at that right there. Look what it said. It said they saw a fire of coals there and fish laid their own. You know what it, what it said? Well, he didn't have to say anything. They just showed up and realized God already had it under control. Back here in verse number three. It said that night they caught nothing. They caught nothing. They failed. They might have been ready to quit. Amen. My just said it ain't worth it anymore. I'm just done. I'm done with this whole charade. It's over. It's over. But already on the land, God had the fish there. Amen. God already had something. Amen. Let me tell you this this morning. Amen. Let me tell you this this morning. Amen. You might say, preacher, I've got nothing. Well, praise God, God's got something. Amen. Notice, notice what he said in verse 8. He said, Jesus said, and then bring of the fish which ye have now caught. Bring the fish which ye have now caught. Amen. Amen. Saying, I've already got your answer right here. Go ahead and bring what you've got. Amen. But I've already got it prepared for you over here, friend. Amen. Let me tell you this morning. Amen. You can't go wrong trusting God. Amen. You can't go wrong trusting God. Amen. Amen. This morning, let me tell you, friend, they, they were there and they caught nothing. But God already had everything. You know that? Amen. They had nothing. And know that that, that that had to hurt. But God, just a little just over just on the land, just on the shore, God had everything. God had everything. Let me tell you this morning, friend. Let me tell you this morning, as as Mrs. Carolyn comes to piano. Let me tell you this this morning, friend. Let me tell you this. Amen. Say, preacher, I'm at the end of my rope. I'm ready to quit. Don't quit. Amen. Don't you quit. Because Jesus is still lingering by watching what you're doing. He still knows who you are. He's still concerned about you, still cares about you. Amen. Let me tell you this. Friend. The Bible says over the good shepherd knoweth his sheep. Amen. 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 He still knows you this morning. He's still got the answer. But let me tell you, most importantly, he's already got it worked out. Amen. He's already given the victory. Amen. Amen. You're just going to have to come get it. Amen. Everyone stand this morning as they begin to play. If you have a need this morning, God answers prayer. God don't want you to quit. God don't want me to quit. I don't want you to quit. Say, preacher, I don't know what to do. Good. They didn't know what to do. Peter exhausted all of his knowledge. He was a fisherman and caught nothing. But God already had it worked out. God already knew. There'd be another. This morning, just be honest where you're at in your life. Be honest what God has for you, amen. Be honest that you need God. As they play, come this morning.